everyone, so I look naked, but I'm not naked, I promise. <laughs> Today I am going to film a chit chat get ready with me um, using a whole bunch of stuff that I have collected recently, you know, like stuff I've bought that I haven't tried yet. Not everything, it's going to be stuff I've never tried, but I'm going to use like heaps of stuff that I haven't used before. Just because I feel like experimenting and playing around with some different stuff, and I really want to use those Illamasqua eyeshadows that I um, showed you guys in my Illamasqua haul not very long ago, because they look amazing, so... Apparently I'm going to be doing something like orange on the eyes, I don't know, let's just see where this goes. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering why my face actually matches me for once, I decided to fake tan my face. So first up, I'm just using a little bit of concealer all over my eyelids, just to kind of counteract all of the weird colours that I have going on. I'm not really worrying too much about concealing my under eyes perfectly, because I'm probably going to be touching that up anyway, I'm just kind of... Setting down a base for my eye shadows. Man, my skin is feeling so dry. I'm just going to moisturize my skin a little bit um, while I do my eye makeup. This is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Serum. I'm gonna let that soak in while I do the rest of my makeup. For my eyebrows today, I'm going to use my Whitening Lightning Slash Dried Cosmetics Eyebrow Trio um, and an XO Beauty Eye Definer Brush. I'm just going into the wax first and brushing my hairs into place with the wax and then I'm going in with the middle shade and just starting to fill in all of the gaps in my brows and then taking the darker shade I'm just going to kind of fill in the tail and then I'm using brow gel by Ico just to set everything in place as well Now you can see the difference between one eye done and one eye not done. Now I am using this Kiko Long Lasting Stick Eyeshadow. It's in the shade 01. It's just like a white shade. I'm just going to put this all over my lid. And then I'm just using my finger to kind of blend that out a little bit. I have no idea if this is going to work well as a base, but we will soon find out. Now I'm using this shade here by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's called Burnt Orange Matte. I'm just taking a little bit of that into my crease. Now I'm going to take the shade Bronx by Lamasca. This colour here is like phenomenal. It is so reflective and amazing. And I am just going to pat that on my lid. Now I'm taking a tapered blender brush by So Beauty and the shade Vapor by Lamasca. And I'm going to buff out those edges and kind of add it into the crease as well. I'm just taking a little bit of that other Lamasca colour and patting that on my lid just to get an extra kind of pop of colour. Now I'm taking Carver by Makeup Store and this is going to go on my inner corner and brow bone. And this is a tapered top EXO Beauty brush. Under my eyes I'm taking that very first colour we used in the crease and just buffing that on. And then I'm going to do like a bunch of glitter on the lower lash line as well. This glitter is Lit Glitter in Oprah and it's just a really nice fine kind of copper colour and I'm going to be using the adhesive as well that comes with it. And I'm just going to pack that on my lower lash line and kind of wing it out a little bit. And then on my top lash line I'm using a glossy liner, this one's Maybelline. And then I'm actually going to stack my lashes, so I'm going to use the Glamorista and the Gold Digger, and these are from the 5 piece dramatic set by XO Beauty. I'm going to put down the Gold Digger first, which looked like that. And 
And then these are the Glamorista, I'm popping them straight on top. You can of course just wear one pair of lashes or no lashes, but I just really felt like having uber dramatic lashes today. So whenever I want like super dramatic lashes, I just stack. It's actually like the easiest thing ever and then you can just pull them off together and reuse them. Now I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. Before I start, I'm just going to pop on a little bit of concealer on this disgusting, hideous asshole. First I am taking the Real Techniques um, setting brush. Sorry, I could not find the name. I'm going to spray a couple spritzes of the Photo Finish Primer Water by Smash... That was my face. <laughs> by Smashbox. Epic fail. Actually, yeah, I'm going to spray some of this on my face as well. And I am going to take this yellow colour first under my eyes. I'm also going to bring it a little bit down the centre of my nose. If you're finding it a little bit stiff, you can actually add oil, which I might do. This is actually my first time using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. In the past, I've been using the Motives one. So this is like a first impression as well. I'm just taking a drop of Argan Oil by Aganya. Literally like the tiniest little drop. And then I'm going to kind of like, you know, put it on. <laughs> That'll just smoothen up the formula a little bit. They actually recommend doing that if you're not really used to you know, cream contouring and all. So again, kind of going in a triangle, like down to the side of my nose, up to my cheekbone. I'm not like a pro at cream contouring, this is just how I do it. Um, if you want an in-depth video, let me know. I'm also taking the yellow right there and here. And then I'm taking this Glamia sponge stick thing. And again, just kind of wetting it a little bit. And I'm gonna go in with this shade first. And I'm just going to start putting that um, kind of like where I would bronze. So not right underneath my cheekbones, but on my cheeks and around the places I'm going to contour. So on my temples. And then I'm taking the darkest shade from the contour palette. Same brush. And I'm just going to put this where I will contour. Now I'm just using a damp beauty sponge. This one's by Chi Chi. And I'm just going to begin bouncing the sponge over where I have contoured and everything. This is just going to softly kind of blend it out. You can see now how it's starting to all come together. You can see how that gives you quite a natural kind of contour look, like it doesn't look super crazy, but I do want to go a little bit more dramatic. So what I'm going to do is add some foundation. I'm going to use a powder foundation, I'm going to use Studio Fix by MAC, and then I'm going to contour a little bit more with some powder contours as well. I'm using a Round Top Kabuki by EXO Beauty, and I'm just going to buff this. Um, over most of my face, avoiding any areas where I've got bronzer on, or like cream bronzer. I love makeup. <laughs> and now I'm going to take Banana by Anastasia Beverly Hills under my eyes. I'm using my Givenchy Healthy Glow Bronzer in shade 2. Just over top of where I put that other stuff. The other benefit of layering powder bronzer and like cream bronzer and contour and everything is it actually lasts way longer. If you have trouble, you know, making your products on your face last a very long time, like if your contour and everything fades by the end of the day, definitely give it a go because it will definitely help. And then I am contouring with the shade, I think it's called Fawn, I don't know, Contour Kit, the middle shade. My favourite part of doing makeup is just like this part, the transformation. <laughs> there you have it, full coverage, flawless contouring with no foundation, well, powder foundation, but no liquid foundation. <laughs> I'm going to use this shade here called Electric Coral by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Ha! Ah, this looks so good. I'm very happy with my lip colour choice. I think it looks really cool with the orange. How weird does this look right now? It looks like I've got no top lip. <laughs> I 
I love this color so much. It's so pretty. Now I'm going to use my Hard Candy Fox in a Box blush. This is in the shade Skinny Dipping. Looks like that. I use this in my Lily Collins look. It's really pretty. Taking off a lot of the excess. It's so pigmented. And I'm just going to put this kind of on my cheeks. As you do with blush. And then to highlight, I'm using another new product. This is the Kiko Milano um, Mosaic Highlighter. It looks like this. It's like heaps of different colors. I'm just going to swirl them all together and hope that it looks pretty. It's not very shimmery. It's almost like a satin kind of finish. So if you don't like super shimmery colors, this might be really good. However... I feel like I want a little bit more highlight. I really like it on my nose because it's not too intense. It's like the perfect nose highlighter. But I'm just going to add more on my cheekbones. I'm going to use Mary Lou by The Balm. That's better. I feel like because I have glitter on, I just really want glossy lips. So I'm going to add some gloss. <laughs> this one is Charlotte Tilbury Red Vixen. I like that better. You can leave it matte if you want. It's totally up to you. My fingernail has broken like way down there, like right on my skin and it hurts so freaking bad. I'm just, <sighs> I think the red lips and the orangish bronzy eyes just look so good together. I wouldn't typically go for this kind of like color scheme either. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So that is the completed look and I'll show you a close up in just a second. I love the highlight as well. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys enjoy this look. That's how it looks close up as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, thumbs up like always, it really helps me out. Feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of videos you guys want to see soon. Um, I'm always looking for requests, I'm always trying to fill your guys' requests. Obviously, you know, there's just a few of you, so it does take me a while, but I do write most of the requests down and try to do the most popular ones first and, you know. Anyway, have an amazing day and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye! And the lid is actually beautiful. It almost comes off like a little bit pink, like a lilac pink. Now I'm going in with the shade Sweet and Spicy, which is this one here. I feel like this entire row would create such a beautiful look. I'm just applying this to my brow bone. Okay, I think I'm good with the top of my eyes, so I'm going to do the bottom. Actually, no. I am going to do my face and then I'll do the bottom lash line. So you can see that.